What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to the Arsenio Bug Show. It's the very first live podcast I've done in quite some time, and you know what? This is a Q&A. This is a Q&A late at night, and you know, man, I have not been doing podcasts on here lately. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of just doubling down on my strengths on things that are working instead of this, but you know what? I do have great things coming up on Saturdays and Sundays as usual, so just stay tuned for that. However, let's get into this question. I got a question now. She's one of my friends. She's actually on one of the very first ESL English language podcast interviews that I did on my uh, my ESL podcast, which is another podcast I do. And, and of course, I've been focusing on. And she actually talked to me and she uh, she said, hey, this one minute video is good. Where's the rest of it? And I'm like, oh, well, I know this was just a one minute video that I put on Instagram. And I was like, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll answer this question more in detail by, of course, making a podcast in terms of this and then posting it and sharing it for you. So, yeah, that's why here I am doing this podcast. And you know what? It was about jabbing and it was about right hooking. This is a philosophy of Gary Vee. All right. Jack Canfield calls it give, give, give and then get. All right. Now, of course, he works with the whole law of attraction. Gary Vee says, you know, it's always about giving and giving and giving. So when it comes down to Gary Vee's philosophy, it's always about just giving as much as you can. He puts he pumps out as much free content as he possibly can just so he could gain all the attention because he said he day trades attention. It's all about attention and he doesn't want people to to leave his podcast without getting anything from it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So. This is what it's all about. Now, the thing is, people go for uppercuts. People go for right hooks. People go for the whole shebang right off the back. That's never going to work. Now, I'm going to give you an idea in an instance of what I'm doing right now. Now, of course, this uh, the girl, my friend that I'm actually doing this for, she's also a teacher. She's working for one of the biggest company in Thailand right now. And I'm actually going to meet up with her tomorrow night. I'm very excited about that. And I don't know what her venture is right now and what she's trying to accomplish. But at the same time, if I look at it from my standpoint in terms of my ESL podcast, guys, if no one knows me, what are the odds of them buying my stuff? So if we look at Instagram ads, right? Instagram ads and guys saying, hey, buy my book. Hey, do this. Hey, do that. Subscribe to this. And it's like, well, I don't know you. So how am I supposed to buy that, especially based on ad, which is a lot of it is really catchy and there's always a uh, a nasty side to it. It's kind of like the guy that says, hey, sign up for this free stuff. Hey, I'm giving away free MacBooks like Ty Lopez did recently, right? Uh, or not recently, but he would like post all these Instagram videos saying, hey, free MacBooks, click on the link, click on the link. And actually, when you click on the link, he gets money for it. It's ridiculous. It's a terrible sales, uh, a sales point. And this is why a lot of People who are weak-minded prey on guys like him. And anyways, that's a whole different story. So what I look at it as is, of course, I'm a personal development coach, a lot of different things, right? But I'm also a teacher, and I love doing, of course, creating a lot of English podcasts because there are so many people around the world listening to me, right? So when I first created this podcast, do I get paid for it? No, I've already told you guys that. However, constantly jabbing, constantly using hashtags... And constantly trying to speak to people, this is going to enable me. So my goal was always to get into the Chinese market. How are you going to get into the Chinese market, Arsenio? Well, I'm going to jab, 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 jab. Can't really ask for anything right now, right? Because nobody knows me out there. I'm just not going to say jab, uh, okay, I'm just going to right hook them and say, hey, I'm an American teacher. Yeah, I have a book. You should buy it. That's ridiculous. I'm asking for the right hook right off the back. And guess what? Nine times out of ten, you're going to lose a lot of respect. You're going to get a lot of trolls. And people are going to berate you with so many ridiculous ass comments. It's kind of like those Instagram ads, right? And when it comes to those Instagram ads, whereas uh, they, they, I don't know, they advertise all types of products, right? It could be something for your phone, something for this, something for that. It, um, the, primarily, they're all applications. Just so you could just click on it, download it from the App Store. And then, of course, it says one week free trial, then it's going to renew at $60 per year. You see what I mean? People like that 
They're barely given a jab. They're basically giving you a slap in the face, and then they're going to roundhouse the kick and the, the, the fuck out of you. Do you understand? Like A roundhouse kick, a Bruce Lee swinging 360 degrees around and whacking you right across the face. This is what these people do. Now, of course, if you don't read the fine print, what ends up happening? You're just going to get a massive deduction from your account, and then you're screwed. You're not going to be able to get it back because that's the policy. That was in the terms and conditions, and you agreed to them. See, now, those types of people and the people that do that, they're going to fucking lose. I really honestly believe that. This is why I'm trying to detray attention on my ESL podcast by creating as much attention as possible. So how do I do this? Well, you know what? I jabbed the hell out of YouTube. A lot of people watch me on YouTube. Indonesia loves me on YouTube. The Turks, okay? Oh, well, the Turkish. I'll say the Turkish. I don't think the Turks is a good name. But anyways, the Turkish, okay? The French. So many different people around the world watch me on YouTube. This is what I'm so excited about, right? And then when I saw those stats, I created a podcast. And then I realized that all my other competitors are not good whatsoever. They don't have seasons, they're not um, they're not doing it on a routine basis. They're, they they kind of jump all over the place when it comes to topics. Some of the topics are very uh, uh, tabooish, right? And I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna own these hashtags. So I post probably two to three Instagram, uh, what is it, photos or videos a day, giving people just one little one minute snippets of what I do. And then I started getting comments, people from Chile saying, thank you so much. People over here in Ireland, people over here in Scotland, people over here, over there, and so many different places. And this is when I was like, okay, this is going to be exciting because what I'm doing right now is showing my potential as an instructor. So I'm jabbing, I'm jabbing, I'm jabbing, I'm ducking, I'm weaving, I'm ducking, I'm weaving. You know, I'll get a couple of comments, but not in terms of English. It was like, I probably only had about two comments in the last two and a half years on my personal development, this particular podcast. But on that podcast, I get a lot of beautiful praise. And this is what I'm doing. I'm jabbing. I'm jabbing. I'm jabbing. You know, I had another guy on, uh, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl on YouTube from China. He's like, oh my God, let me know when you launch your ebook. I'm so excited. That's a beautiful thing. You see what I mean? I'm jabbing. I'm jabbing. Why? Because I'm putting out so much useful material onto YouTube. I'm putting so much useful material. People already know who I am. They got a personal relationship with me. If they comment, if they send me a message, I send them a message back. This is what you guys need to do. I create that attention. I create that bond. I create that relationship. And then the right hook isn't necessarily a right hook. It's kind of like me just putting a present right there and saying, hey, you can open it up. Okay. Might have to pay 10 to $15. And if you don't want it, just keep, you know, coming up on, you know, the one minute videos I do on Instagram or the Facebook lives I do showing my true potential. And this is where a lot of people fall because As an instructor in whatever you teach, if you do not show people exactly how you teach, you're going to lose. They don't know who the hell you are. They don't know how the hell you are. And I just lost my thought because I was going to expand big time on that. But let's just put it this way. Dog trainer. There we go. Just got it back. If you're a dog trainer and all you do is post photo, 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 photo on your Instagram, you don't have a podcast. You don't have a website to show you. The website, you're just demanding money right off the back. It's like a subscription website. You guys are going to fail. And when you fail, you're going to fail hard. This is not how it works. People want to see you at your finest. And so whatever you're trying to do out there, make one-minute videos for Instagram. Make a 15-minute snap. I don't know how, how much Snapchat is. I never got into that. I just don't like it. Um... What is it? Twitter? Two minutes and 20 seconds, I think. Or is that Periscope? Yeah, Twitter, maybe four minutes. No, Twitter's four, mi- four minutes. Uh, I think Facebook was two minutes and 20 seconds. And that's if you're uploading from Instagram. And then, of course, you could do a Facebook Live. I just set up a schedule on Facebook Live. I'm giving people free lessons on Saturday and Sunday in terms of TOEIC and IELTS. Had another girl who's actually a fitness trainer, remarkable individual out here, love her to death. Oh my god, don't! I'm just trying to, I'm trying to retain myself. <laughs> you know what she was telling me? She's like, I else writing. I said, deal. I said, hey, you know what? Let's meet up for a coffee. And of course, she's on a very difficult schedule. I had to go buy a hydration pack. We're getting off track here, but you guys understand what I'm saying. When people want some help, I say, hey, I'm gonna help you. When I put different offers up on like a Monday, which I need to get back to very soon. Um, 
my, one of my Moroccan students out there in Morocco, she did it. And I said, hey, you've been awarded two free hours of teaching. Topic of your choice. I'll create a lesson, send it to you a week before or a few days before, and we'll knock it off. And see, that's the beauty of literally branding myself. See, sometimes that free is a super give. But then when I come out with something, when I come out with webinars and it's like $5, it's like, $5, man, I already know how he teaches. He is freaking awesome. Oh, how much for the book? Man, you show me so much in terms of IELTS. I've learned so much from you, man. Book ain't nothing. Let me get that book. You see what I mean? That's called jabbing. I've been jabbing for a long time. And you know what? I'm not going to necessarily write hook. But I'm just going to say, hey, there's this, there's a webinar, here's this, here's that. You can subscribe to my newsletter. I have sneak peeks. I have this, I have that. But when you actually subscribe to the main thing, you know, in terms of paying a little bit or whatever it may be, that's where the big comes. So, guys, this is what I'm so excited about. And this is what I'm trying to get through to the majority of your heads. When you start right hooking and uppercutting and, 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 and roundhousing, and throwing boxes and trash cans, you're not going to win. You're not. Okay, what you need to do is you need to show them exactly who you are. Start creating those vim, uh, those videos. Get on Vemily, V-E-M-E dot L-Y. And of course, I ain't getting paid a goddamn thing for this because I got to pay them for it. And you might have to pay $8 a month. But get on there and create about three videos a day and start pouring out as much content as you can. Get the attention and then say, hey, guys, I have this. And they're going to be like, yeah, well, you just made a whole bunch of videos on that. Hell yeah, I'm buying that book because you've helped me with everything. Oh, you got coaching services and teaching? Oh, hell yeah. I want it all. See how that works? Guys, take this information. Please do something with it because it is everything in the world. Guys, I'm bringing back crypto assets tomorrow morning. I'm hoping if I don't get lazy right now. <laughs> but you know what? I'm bringing that. I'm bringing, I hate that laugh, my friend. He had the worst laugh ever. Um... I'm bringing that back tomorrow morning. So, guys, stay tuned for that. I do apologize for just being on a ridiculous hiatus. This is like almost a three-day hiatus and unheard of. But, again, a lot of you who are listening to me on here, it's so funny. You guys are going to my ESL podcast, which is really funny. Uh, and I find that super fascinating because a lot of people, like like one city out there, what is it, the capital of Nebraska, Omaha, Um the, the, they listened to me on, uh, what is it, on my ESL podcast, or then they came over here, or Tel Aviv, Israel. Man, I can't remember, but someone went from this, because I wasn't creating on here, they went to that one. So, man, you guys are all awesome. I love the fact that you guys are like, man, I can't get enough of this guy. He radiates so much positivity. You know what I mean? So, man, I'm just so grateful for all of you out there, and that's why... I don't even know how I have this much energy, to be honest with you. But I'm going to end this right now. We're going to keep this going. Guys, honestly, you need to follow Motivational Mentors. That is another joint podcast with Luke and I. That's gaining a ridiculous amount of traffic. And you know what? It has a completely special format to it. So what we do on every Sunday, or maybe I should just tell this in another podcast. Yeah, I should probably tell this in another podcast. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end this. Take this like a grain of salt, but also understand how these jabs and these right hooks work. Understand that you need to give to get. All right? And with the blog coming up right after this, of course, episode, you guys will be able to check out a little bit in writing. And again, if you guys start recommending and you guys start asking for transcripts, I can absolutely do that too. I might start doing that with my ESL podcast very soon. So anyways, guys, with that being said, man, I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual. Stay tuned for the next one. Over and out.